Hi guys, we're gonna be doing a reading for Leo. Um, I already pulled some cards, and this is what we have. We have Yang, all that glitters, orphaned. The whip, strife, fighting, perseverance, vigor, energy, completion, and we have the sun in reverse. Happiness, optimism, light, charm, self, confidence, and guidance, and that's your energy. Um, we have walking away, patience, an angel of balance with broken heart at the bottom. We have breathe at the bottom. We have um, out of my cards here that I made. Um, Astro project energy to stop you. Baby daddy paternity test. Um, we have internal youth preying on you. Grudge because you're, you have star energy. We have temperance. Sagittarius energy, fire, job lost or broke, we have drugs or booze or under the influence, we have planning to secretly attack you, we have expect a raise at job or new job, we have uh, initials A, B, C, we have money inheritance, and we have the star in reverse, and we have the hierophant in reverse, so pessimism, doubt, stubbornness, lack of perception, chance of physical or mental illness, and we have openness to I know ideas and confidentiality. The card of the inventor as well as the hippie. Take care that you do not become superstitious. Intemperance is Sagittarius energy. Balance, patience, adaptability, harmony with others. Modification, self-control. Um, tempering. And then at the bottom of this deck we had um, the man, number 28. This, the signify card for a man or the partner card for a woman. So you're walking away from somebody right now. You're going through some type of heartbreak, could be. Um, with broken heart here at the bottom. Let's get into more. I want to see... Um, what Spirit wants to tell you. I have the Shaman Oracle as well. What's going on for Leos? What's coming in? So all that glitters isn't gold. You may feel like big changes are going on around you with that number five card. Yang energy, so um, a masculine could be making their way towards you. Could be twin flame energy, the running chase or dynamic. Spirit's telling you to be patient. As long as you're in balance, you'll have all that you need here. We have magician in the mirror and the sun under that. And we have community and to be fair under the breathe card. Okay, what's coming in for Leo? Whale song resonating. We're going to resonate with someone, something this week. We have connectivity, the jeweled web, sky writing, the fates. So something about this partnership could be divine. Uh, straddling worlds, wandering between realms, spirit of the river, movement toward adventure, deep diver, diving into a task. We have first breath, beginner's mind. Fortune wheels, luck, and right timing. We have the magician short sword. Confidence is your ma in your magic and home, heart, home, compassion. Last two. Crown games or use of power. Drifter, experience life as it comes, and unmarked trail revelation. So I'm sure you're wondering what's going to happen between this heartbreak and where your relationship is headed next. So let's dive into tarot and get some more answers. <clears throat> Angels and spirit guides, what messages does Leo need to know at this time? Retaining their connection with their soulmate. We have right off the rip, the hermit and the seven. The seven of pentacles. So you feel like your luck ran dry with a certain someone and you want to just retreat, go into hermit mode because you're hurt. Can you blame me? Alright, what's, what's um, going on with Leo and the person? Leo? 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 And what you see is what you get. So something may not be on surface level all that it may seem. <clears throat> Three of Cups, 
Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. You're trying to move ahead at something and move quickly. You're jumping, you're trying to jump from this heartbreak right into thinking time with friends, celebration, and reminiscing memories and making money is going to make you forget about this heartbreak. I mean, it might for a short period. But, like I said, on the surface level here, you're still going to be dealing with these. Some of you is maybe dealing with a ton of pentacles here. So, love looks new. Love looks exciting. Um, four of pentacles, waiting patiently, and hanging on to a certain particular someone tightly. Let's get more. So you, you, whether you, who put in the work or who walked away or what happened in this connection, um, there is three of cups here for celebration. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your situation. We have the five of cups. That's grief. We have the ten of wands. That's carrying a massive load <clears throat> up this hill. So don't overwork yourself. Meaning don't put in more work to this connection and the person's giving back. We got the Knight of Swords, we got the Three of Swords. Okay, there's a heartbreak card right there. Right in the center of the reading. <clears throat> it seems like you have a good support system of friends around you right now in particular, so that's good. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Someone who's solid, gives good advice. Um, she could be like a cook in the kitchen. She could make good money. She could um, have dark hair. She is someone that you don't really want to mess with. We have the Seven of Swords. It could, she could be a birth sign. He or she. The Seven of Swords is someone trying to sneak off in a sneaky way, behavior, kind of like a sneaky link or um, trying to escape the situation without taking credit or responsibility for it um, or carry too much too many swords at once try not to drop them so they're take so taking on too much yeah sneaky behavior so you got to be careful someone fly by day night comes in quick wants the cake and then just to leave you nothing but crumbs we have the uh, two of pentacles and the two of wands so the choice with this person is, should I remain friends? Should I be with them? Should we take it to the next level? You're juggling this idea back and forth in your head, I'm sure, because, like I said, someone may have hurt you with the Nine of Swords underneath that. That's the heartbreak, grieving, staying up late night cards. Say advice for Leo, advice. You might have gave a lot more to this person than they gave back to you, or vice versa. For Leo. Four of Cups. There's that boredom card. Might have missed an opportunity, or they walked out and didn't wait for the miracle to happen, so to speak. We have the Five of Wands, so there's definitely conflict going on here beneath the surface. You're trying to figure out how to get out of the situation without breaking hearts. Show me this three of cups. I have the ten of swords, yeah. The can't beat a dead horse card. I mean, what's done is done. If it's over, I don't know if there's any rehealing this relationship or not between the two of you. Um, what's the outcome? What's the outcome for this connection? Where is it headed? What direction for Leo? There are sparks here between you guys. Like, I feel like this person kind of has elements that feel like home to you. I mean, you guys have journaled about somebody in the past you wanted to manifest, and this person may have years later down the road came into your life and been pretty much everything exactly you had written down in your journal and manifested them in your real life. We have the moon energy here. Uncertain, unmuddled, unclear thinking. Or emotion, sorry. Number 18 card there. Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So whoever this person was, wasn't you, you were ready to receive love and give your cup, but they weren't doing the same thing in return. 
Interesting. What should um, my Leos do here in this situation? Advice? Should they walk away? Um, should they try to stay in tight for this connection? What's this other person going to do? What is this person? How do they view Leo? With, what are their next actions towards Leo in this connection? Are they going to stay and fight? What, the, what is uh, Leo's person going to do? What actions are they going to take for this connection? Actions, please. For Leo's person. The Fool. They might have been a little flaky fly by day night like I was saying but this person I feel like has a huge heart and they still care Leo for you somewhere deep inside there they may have had a, a lot of mistakes and things they've done in the past that they had to defend themselves for or refit the script for themselves like fix you know rewrite the story to make amends with certain people or they may not have had the best reputation but this person deep down still cares for you they are healing four of swords page of pentacles and page of cups yeah so i don't know if this person is entirely ready yet they may be going through their own healing currently how do they feel about my leo king of swords they feel like you're very truthful you are bold you're honest you're courageous you're somebody they can rely and trust on when they need somebody to be there. The Hermit and the Chariot. But yeah, this person, the Nine of Wands, um, might be flying solo for a while. I know that's not what you want to hear. Alright, so we're going to pick this deck up and see the next person coming in towards my Leo's. There's somebody new, or if this relationship is going to rekindle itself. Is this relationship going to withstand the storms of time? Oh, Leah, is this relationship going to withstand the storms of time? You guys want to see if it's going to withstand the storms of time. I got cards to clarify uh, for when we're done here. And I put this deck away, honestly, and use a different one. So that way we don't get the same message twice. We're going to use Miss Cleo's deck. Is this connection going to withstand storms of time for Leo? Leo energy, please, angels and spirit guides for Leo. Where's this relationship headed? For most of you, I feel like 90% of you, this relationship is over. There's a few some of you out there, maybe like 40% that it's going to involve a lot of work, but um, we'll see. It's coming in for Leo. 10%, it's definitely, definitely, definitely going to work out. So that's not all, that's a small percentage. It's coming in for Leo. Is this relationship going to work out? It is swords. You are going to pull yourself out of this one. It's already bumpy as shit. The relationship's already heavy as can be. So there's a lot of unclear emotions. Nobody knows what the fuck they want. We got the king of swords. Um, here we go. I mean, they, they see you as, you know, a good person, but Leo, I think you're have you're just so engulfed in this emotion, heavy emotion that you are having a hard time believing that you're going to make this relationship work right about now at this point. Pretty sure. Yeah. The Knight of coins, you're feeling like it's slower than fucking death. We got the eight of cups. Waiting here, waiting here patiently for something to come along and kicking sand on the beach. Nothing's coming along. 
So, back in your head, once again, back and forth. Who's coming towards Leo? Who's coming towards Leo? Seven of Swords. This person might come back, maybe give it a temptation touch just to see if they still have what it takes. But I don't think you're going to be interested this time. I think you're telling this person to pack their shit. Hit the road, Jack. We got a Six of Cups here, Four of Swords. Person has too many excuses, I think, for you. Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're honest, but they're not getting to the heart of the matter as far as what broke their pain or what they want to do. What broke their heart. Sorry, we got the Three of Swords at the Tower, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. They're saying, I want these things with you, but I'm here. I haven't healed. When push comes to shove, when it comes to giving you, actually giving you my cup, I don't know if I can do that. There's so much uncertainty here. You know what I mean? We got the magician at the bottom. So you want this, Leo. This other person that might want it too, but when they when they get it, they might not even know what the fuck to do with it. That's the question. That's the problem. Sorry. Alright, what, um... advice for this other person I mean not other person but for you I mean what's this is for Leo this is for you guys what um steps is Leo gonna take we got the ten of staffs and the death card <sighs> um that's cutting off this baggage, this person. If that means cutting this person off completely, so be it. Six of Swords at the bottom. What's this King of Swords? jungle and then I heard an essay so I don't know what that means to you. Page of coins, eight of coins, seven of coins, ace of coins, knight of swords, nine of swords, knight of swords, sorry, nine of swords, the lovers and the king of cups. This person may already have a relationship going on with somebody else in the background and you're not even aware of this. Um... They're telling me that they are using you for nothing but your money. So, I don't know why this deck isn't, I don't know why I pulled this one. I shouldn't use this one, but yeah. So, if they do come back around and you have money, they could possibly just be a gold digger for some of you. Not all of you. Not all of these. We got the two of swords. Yes. Yeah, so you already know, Leo, you have a choice that needs to be made. Alright. Four Leo's already in a connection. some hurdles I feel like for you guys but you something you couldn't overcome knight of cups nine of pentacles so you guys are sitting comfortably with the empress here maybe spicing things up you've been taking time out to get back to your Leo, your courageous, um, outgoing selves. 
whether that be TLC, trying new home remedies, crystal spread, just whatever makes you feel good, okay? We have the Eight of Wands, the Sun, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Temperance. Someone's been um, delaying you or trying to push your buttons because they want a chance with you, and I don't know if this person's younger than you, but I think you're going to turn them down because you could, you are with somebody. What is going on with Leo's person? Leo's person. So, so far, so good. I don't sense anything bad thus far. Leo's in a relationship. They're that person's energy. Seven of Cups. So this person may have options. We got the Queen of uh, Wands. They're very warm. They're tentative. They may be a fire sign as well. Fire Leo. Or Aries Leo Sagittarius. We have a the justice card here so whatever you guys had just recently gone through there is a justice moment so and we have the queen of pentacles i don't know if you guys fought and made up really quick but this person obviously is feeling bad or there's some type of fair outcome here that just took place we have the moon and then the the king of pentacles and or maybe even somebody was greedy or selfish with money and you were like, no, 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 no. You weren't having it. So you went back in your nine of pentacles energy. And you're like, I'm going to be the independent boss that I know I can be. And they're stuck over here in the page of cups and the ten of swords energy. The fool at the end, or the fool at the bottom and the eight of cups with the magician at the bottom. So what is this all about? They could have been talking to another woman maybe. There's two women here. What's going on? this person's energy but they're in this moon energy as well so yeah their emotions are not the best right now they might not be seeing something or missing a big piece and you're seeing crystal clear over here you i won't even surprise if you have people calling you up hitting you up or you're gonna if you're in separation you might hear back from this person you're like, oh, I'm sorry for what I did. What's going on? Let's see how come. Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands. So, you're taking it step, a step down a notch. Um, with this person until they show further action on their behalf. We have the Eight of Swords at the bottom. Clarify this Knight of Swords, or uh, Knight of Cups. For my Leo's energy. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Okay. <sighs> boy, oh boy, here. All right, we have the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Wands. This person, whatever you guys just went through, made you, they made you, they, feels like you lost your spark. Oh, my throat chakra keeps getting blocked. Somebody could be doing a spell to, um, to mess you up, to trip you up, because they're jealous of how pretty you're sitting over here, and they're not doing so great. Um, also, we have, so you walked away from, could have walked away from this or in separation from your person going into hermit mode like I said um because the truth cut this person wide open and they <laughs> their ego got bruised over there but... what's this knight of pentacles for Leo the magician so yeah you're manifesting who you think somebody if you don't think this person's good enough for you or they done you wrong you want to manifest obviously they're I was going to say they're karma, but that's not very nice, but um, that right things happen and they, that, that you get somebody better who is worth your time and effort that you deserve. What's this, Empress? 
and happier. If this person wasn't making you happier, then let's just say you're manifesting happiness in your life. Someone who can bring you happiness. Yeah, you're planting those seeds with people because you want to see who's out there. What's this Four of Swords? Changing your perspective. Or you're planting the seeds and trying to make this work and heal this connection. That's what that could mean also as well. So the hangman is in reverse. So yeah, you're cutting yourself free from something. You see, like I said, you're seeing crystal clearly over here. What's this eight of wands? I heard stop dragging my heart around by Tom Petty. The uh, queen of swords again. Yeah. Could have air in, your, in their charts. What's this? Um, sun, sun energy. Two of swords. This is where you, it's make or break. They, you either bring me happiness or you don't. And I did see 1919 when we were recording on the screen. So that's your guys' number. The sun card's 19. Happiness, Leo energy. What's um, the seven of cups in their energy? We got the king of cups. So now that they're coming back and they're all sorry, they want to give you their cup of love because they know you deserve it. And... Let's see what happens from here. What's this um, Queen of Wands? I feel like that you make this your person, you make your person feel empowered, the devil, because they. might not know how to do what you do or they still have some tendencies that they do that kind of is toxic and no good and you see this like they could have a for instance a dating site like tinder or something and you don't or they could self-indulge in something drinking partying drug use anything you know what i mean so just anything toxic trait or pattern or behavior that's linked to the material world, like the devil is linked to the material world. That's what that means when you pull, get the devil card. Um, what's this um, justice? We have the page of the pentacles. So they they want to win you over with money. We have two two men showing up here, possibly three, that want to give you, give you time and energy. We got the ace of cups clarifying the page of cups. We have the Page of Wands clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. I'd watch out for this Pentacles. They look a little sneaky, not going to lie. The Moon, we have the Three of Pentacles and Temperance. So your person's telling me that, okay, maybe if time goes on, I could try pulling the same, same move with Leo. I might get one by on them, but I think now that you kind of woken them up to that you're intuitive and you're not, you're going to call them out on your bullshit. They're not going to try this shit again with you. What is this King of Pentacles? Because they know you're not having it, you know? <sighs> the King of Wands. These two could be fight. This could be a pass... Um, person that you were with. Maybe you have kids together. They both seem like, like dickhead assholes to me, honestly, in all reality, but you still might have to deal with them if that's the case. So, I don't know. Maybe this person wants to come in and help redirect um, and get you away from this person's energy. The toxic person here. What's this Ten of Swords? Because king, king and queen of wands are good um, leaders. Um, people look up, look to them. They're warm spirited. They're creative. They're of the fire suit, so they're passionate about what they do. The the two of wands. Yeah, you may have a fire sign coming towards you. We have Taurus on the table. Another Leo. We have Pisces energy. We have Cancerian energy. We have Sagittarius energy, Libra energy, Capricorn energy, Virgo, Tor uh, sorry, Virgo, Gemini. Mm, 
that's it. Okay, the Three of Cups. All right, so there may be third, like I said, with one of these persons, either the King of Pentacles or the King of Wands. There could have been um, third party parties going on here. And, like, I, I got that feeling. What's the overall energy? The Fool. Yeah, the Folly, this Folly person. And the Singles even got that same card. The Six, so reminiscing past memories with you. So you're thinking about, Leo, the return of somebody from the past that, uh, that keeps popping up here. We got the Death card and the <clears throat> the Queen of uh, Cups. I almost said Pentacles. There she is. Unbelievable. Wanting to speak their truth to you. This Ace of Swords. So what moves um, should Leo take? Towards this person, what move should Leo take towards this person? If any at all. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, and Seven of Swords at the bottom, so sneaky behavior. Only come to this person if you're going to cut them off. Um, if they have some, something of value to offer you, make sure it doesn't interfere with your emotional state. 3131 on the screen. Keep detached at all costs you will have a victory if you remain detached from your emotions on this one so put your game suit on your game face all right let's get some final and encrypt messages um from my love tarot tarot decks we're gonna see where they're at with emotional wise right now today. How they feel about this view. You. <clears throat> All right. All right. Leo. Oh, sorry. Why am I saying so? Sorry, my crystals. I bashed you off the fucking thing. How is uh, Leo's person feeling about my Leo's? I hope you can forgive me. the smallest fly I think I've seen in my life. So. They want to be forgiven for whatever the fuck they did. What does Leo's person want to say to Leo? You're so beautiful to me. I'm not ready to step out of my comfort zone. I need more time to reflect on myself. I'm scared of being vulnerable with you. I wish I was less complicated. There's still a lot you need to find out about me. You're the only one that truly understands me. I've been watching you, uh, watching your social media. I wanted to come out in reverse, so don't, if you have this person blocked, maybe unblock them just to see, just to quick check on them and see what they're doing and then if you need to block them again. No one is ever going to replace how I feel about you and I can feel that magnetic pull towards you. I don't want to lose you. You're, you are my missing piece. And I ca can't stop thinking about you. Anything else? This person wants to say to Leo. The bottom we have. I'm trying to distract myself from thinking of you. I'm still learning how to love myself. You have the most beautiful and purest heart. 
I do care for you deeply, but I'm scared you want too much. I still have hope we can work this out. And I feel ashamed of what I've been doing with my life. Now, what does Leo want to say to the person? How does Leo feel about the person? I wish I could be there for you, but I don't feel ready. I don't know what to say to you. I don't know how to live without you. I am sorry I didn't know how to love you. I wish I could be there for you, but I don't feel ready. Sorry for breaking your trust. You feel like home to me. I'm aware that there's more to it. You're still the best. You're the best that's ever happened to me. I'm not ready to reach out to you. You want different things. I know I've let you down. I've been lying to myself for so long. I'm cutting you off for now. I'm not ready to open up. Alright. I'm scared to commit to you. I need my freedom now. And I'm still so confused about it all. Anything else? One last message. I need some alone time now. Okay. So that's how you're feeling, Leo. I don't know how to talk to you. I want you to love me for who I am. I'm so sorry. Sorry for giving you false hope. I love you more than I will ever allow on the intensity of our connection for me. Okay, well, that's all I have for you, Leos. Take care now. Thanks for joining me in my channel. Bye-bye now.